It's day 60 something of the lockdown, society hasn't necessarily crumbled yet, stores are still open, food is still widely available in spite of a couple of shortages that pop up here and there, but for the most part, we can still survive. Nonetheless, Alex Jones of InfoWars is already talking about the necessity of maybe possibly resorting to cannibalism in the near future. Take a look. Yay! I will eat my neighbors. I'm not letting my kids die. I'll, I'm just going to be honest. My superpowers being honest, I've extrapolated this out, and I won't have to for a few years since I got food and stuff, but I'm literally looking at my neighbors now and going, I'm ready to hang them up and gut them and skin them and chop them up. You know what? I'm ready. My daughters aren't starving to death. I'll eat my neighbors. See, my superpower is being honest. I'll eat your ass. I will. I'm combat model, optimum self-sufficiency, probably the leader. The point is, is have you thought about that yet? Because I'm somebody that thought I could fix this, and I'm starting to think about having to eat my neighbors. You think I like? Sizing up my neighbor, how I'm going to haul him up by a chain and chop his ass up. I'll do it. My children aren't going hungry. I will eat your ass. And that's why I want the globalists to know I will eat your ass first. <sighs> wow. Wow. Um, I don't, I don't know what to say about that, but quote, I'll eat your ass. Alex Jones, 2020. <laughs> like there's no conclusion other than he wants to eat his neighbor. Like if anyone's going to be better off, it's going to be someone like him with a lot of money and according to him he already has food rationed so i mean he's put food aside he's gonna be okay but yet his neighbor is looking uh, kind of tasty and he says <laughs> you think i like sizing up my neighbor how i'm gonna haul him up <laughs> by a chain and chop his ass up i mean imagine the look on his neighbor's face <laughs> as he's watching alex jones go on this deranged rant about uh eating him i'll eat my neighbors i mean i genuinely feel bad for anyone who lives near alex jones like that's got to be like horrifying like first of all he you know is probably like a loud person but also he's crazy so you probably hear him yelling and the fact that now he's talking about like literally eating his neighbors um look i expected this to happen right but i was thinking we're gonna start talking about cannibalism maybe on year like three or four um of the lockdown in the apocalypse not like two months in when we still can get food when stores are still open and you could just go to the store and purchase food you shouldn't go very frequently but nonetheless i mean it's there if you need it don't have to eat your neighbors now I would be remiss if I didn't talk about a tweet from Caitlin Bennett, otherwise known as Gun Girl, who uh, shared a picture of herself with Alex Jones and included the hashtag Alex Jones eats ass. I'll eat your ass. Okay. Look, do me a favor once you close out this video. Check on your right wing neighbor or friend or family member. They're not doing okay. <laughs> They're not doing okay. Uh, check on them to make sure that they still have all of their faculties in order and they're not going crazy because, um, you know, if you thought that the far right was crazy, this lockdown is uh, showing that there is no, you know, uh, there's no level that they won't stoop to. There's no level of crazy that they're not willing to go to. They are absolutely insane. So much so that I think that the movie Idiocracy, like sometimes I'll jokingly say that we're living in that movie and that it wasn't supposed to be a documentary. I think that some right-wingers like Alex Jones surpassed the level of stupid that we saw in the movie Idiocracy. That's how bad I think it's gotten. I mean, when you have people like the president of the United States literally asking whether or not injecting disinfectants into our bodies would be a solution that could fight COVID-19. I mean, there's just, it's as stupid as, you know, the president in idiocracy watering the crops with Gatorade and wondering why all the crops were dying. It, 
<laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Certain things leave me speechless, but it doesn't happen very often. But when it does, it's got to be something crazy. And this is one of those things. Um, but at the back of my mind, I will admit, I think that I believe Alex Jones' attorneys when he says that he was an actor, basically, an entertainer. Because, I mean, is he genuine about this? Do I think that he actually wants to eat his neighbor? I don't believe so. I think that he knows what he's doing. I think he knows that he's a huckster and he's an entertainer. And the only reason why he has a show is to hawk his, you know, dumbass, um, I don't know, what is he even still selling? Brain pills? Just weird vitality stuff? Like, the man is a fraud. He's just trying to make money and being over the top and entertaining is part of his shtick. So in a way, you know, I'm I'm part of the problem by participating in this and shedding light on his stupidity. But when you see something like this, I mean, how do you not respond? Like, I, I can't not talk about this. Alex Jones is talking about cannibalism and specifically he wants to eat his neighbor's ass. I mean, I, I just can't remain silent as this happens. So hopefully you'll forgive me. I will try to do better and talk about things that actually matter <laughs> in the future because um, Alex Jones is not someone who needs any more attention. You know what? I'm ready. I'll eat your ass. Okay. Combat model. I will eat your ass.